Alright, what up you guys? Candyman TGFB here, and today I'm going to be reviewing Castle Doombad. It is an iOS game, and what Castle Doombad is, is a type of tower defense game, but instead of guarding, like, castles from stuff, you are guarding a princess from being rescued by soldiers and knights. So it is, it's a little twist, and it's an adult swim game, so you can never really go wrong. And the gameplay of this game is actually really well done. There's 45 levels in an endless night mode, once you get at least 30 crowns. And every level always adds a new twist, so you can never really just use like the same items and traps and stuff. And every level, just like to break the game, everyone adds a new twist, so you have to always be changing up your strategy and upgrading and buying new traps to try to survive. The upgrading system in this game is actually really nice and laid out, like the whole shop in general. Each thing has its own categories, as you can see. They have the auto traps, the minions, and the manual traps. And they have a nice description and how much they cost and like the damage output of each and every trap. And once like, as you can see, like, the bomb in shows the upgrade price. It's really nice. It's very well laid out and nothing is like ridiculously over the top expensive in this game. So it's like you just sit there and have like a grind and just grind the game for days. It's really nice. And then the in-game shop for real like the real money situation here what I really do like about this game is you can spend real money but if you don't want to and you just want to grind it out you can convert the in-game money into the little tokens so you can buy like the bombs the reduced cost to zero for the next trap you place and the shield the princess so I really do like that you don't have to spend real money you can just grind it out here and the controls in this game. Very responsive. Like some touchscreen games, the you have to press like four or five times to get something to work on some of the games. This game, very responsive. You just touch, touch, boom, done. No like double clicking to try to get it to work. So it's very well laid out there. As a challenging aspect of the game though, the game jumps from ridiculously easy to like ridiculously hard towards like the end of chapter three. Like, there is really no middle ground here. Like, it's chapter 1 and 2, not hard at all. 2 gets a little harder at the end, but not really. Then once you get to chapter 3, the first, like, 7 levels are easy, and then you start getting slammed because you have no idea where they're going to be coming from, and you just get overwhelmed, like, really fast. Like, this is, um, mission 12 in chapter 3, and it, it, makes, it makes it so hard because you don't know where they're going to be coming through because they just bust through the sides, and then, like here, where there's little rocks in the ground, you can't place traps or whatever. And then Superman just comes through, he's just shredding everything, and it gets real sad. You get overwhelmed really fast. And in conclusion, the game overall has a, I would feel, has a moderate replay value. It was fun playing through the game, but then it just gets pretty re boring just replaying all the same levels, even though it does have that infinite night mode, where it just throws random levels at you and you need to try to beat them. It is fun, but I would... It's not something I would just sit here and play for like hours on end every day. So I'd rate this game 3 Sleepy Giraffes. If you guys want me to like review more iOS games, I definitely will. And I have a couple iOS games I'm playing right now that are really good. And I'll let you guys know what those are in my next video because I'm going to do some more iOS videos for you guys. Hope you enjoy the video and peace.